People have always been curious, not only about the future of humanity, but also the fate of planet Earth and the universe itself. The world we enjoy today won't last this way forever. A number of terrestrial events are going to happen that will change things on our world. Sure, making Earth hardly recognizable to someone alive today. While the future can never be predicted with absolute certainty, present understanding in various scientific fields allows for the prediction of some far future events, if only in the broadest outline. Here's what the future has in store. 10,000 years from now Sea levels would rise 3 to 4 meters, one of the potential long-term effects of global warming. 15,000 years from now the precession of Earth's poles will move the North African monsoon far enough north to convert the Sahara back into a tropical climate, as it was during 5 to 10,000 years ago. 25,000 years from now The Chernobyl exclusion zone, the 1,000 square mile area of Ukraine and Belarus, left deserted by the 1986 Chernobyl disaster, will return to normal levels of radiation. The Arecibo message, a collection of radio data transmitted on 16 November 1974, reaches the distance of its destination, the globular cluster Messier 13. Any reply will take at least another 25,000 years from the time of its transmission. 100,000 years from now the hypergiant star VY Canis Majoris will likely have exploded in a hypernova. Earth will likely have undergone a supervolcanic eruption large enough to erupt 96 cubic miles of magma. 200,000 years from now Due to the long-term movement of celestial bodies through space, familiar star constellations like the Big Dipper, Orion, and Perseus no longer exist. 250,000 years from now Lohi, a young submarine volcano in the Hawaiian chain, rises above the Pacific Ocean surface and becomes a new island. 500,000 years from now Earth will likely have been hit by an asteroid of roughly one kilometer in diameter, assuming it cannot be averted. One million years from now Current glass objects in the environment will be decomposed. Without maintenance, the Great Pyramid of Giza will erode into unrecognizability. Two million years from now. Estimated time for the recovery of coral reef ecosystems from human-caused ocean acidification. Pioneer 10 passes near the bright star Aldebaran. 25 million years from now. The movement of the San Andreas Fault will cause the Gulf of California to flood into the Central Valley. This will form a new inland sea on the west coast of North America. 50 million years from now. Maximum estimated time before the moon Phobos collides with Mars. The African continent merges with Europe, forming a new mountain range to rival the Himalayas. 110 million years from now. The rings of Saturn have disappeared. The Sun's luminosity has increased by 1%. 180 million years from now. Due to the gradual slowing down of Earth's rotation, a day on Earth will be one hour longer than it is today. 500 million years from now. Estimated time until a gamma ray burst or massive hyperenergetic supernova occurs within 6500 light years of Earth, close enough for its rays to affect Earth's ozone layer and potentially trigger a mass extinction. 750 million years from now. The death of most plant life will result in less oxygen in the atmosphere, allowing for more DNA damaging ultraviolet radiation to reach the surface. Many animals may be driven to the poles or possibly underground. Much of the land would become a barren desert, and plants and animals would primarily be found in the oceans. Eventually, however, all multicellular life will die out. The only life left on the Earth 
After this will be single-celled organisms. 900 million years from now, our Sun and its solar system will have orbited four times around the entire Milky Way galaxy since the dawn of humanity. One billion years from now, Estimated lifespan of the two Voyager Golden Records before the information stored on them is rendered unrecoverable. The Sun's luminosity has risen by 10%, causing Earth's surface temperatures to reach an average of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. A runaway greenhouse effect takes over, turning Earth into something a lot like Venus. All life dies. 1.5 billion years from now, the Sun's rising luminosity causes its circumstellar habitable zone to move outwards as carbon dioxide rises in Mars' atmosphere. Its surface temperature rises to levels akin to Earth during the Ice Age. 2.5 billion years from now, the Sun will have reached a maximum surface temperature of 5,820 Kelvin. From then on, it will become gradually cooler while its luminosity will continue to increase. 3 billion years from now, there is a roughly 1 in 100,000 chance that the Earth might be ejected into interstellar space by a stellar encounter before this point, and a 1 in 3 million chance that it will then be captured by another star. Were this to happen, Life, assuming it survived the interstellar journey, could potentially continue for far longer. Seven and a half billion years from now, the Earth and Moon are very likely destroyed by falling into the Sun, just before the Sun reaches the tip of its red giant phase and its maximum radius of 256 times the present day value. During this era, Saturn's moon, Titan, may reach surface temperatures necessary to support life. 8 billion years from now, the sun turns into a white dwarf. All of the remaining planets freeze solid. 14 billion years from now, the sun becomes a black dwarf. Its temperature and luminosity plummets, making it invisible to human eyes. Not that they exist anymore. One trillion years from now. Estimated time until the universe ends via the big crunch, assuming a closed model. Depending on how long the expansion phase is, the events in the contraction phase will happen in the reverse order. Galaxy superclusters would first merge, followed by galaxy clusters and then later galaxies. Eventually, stars have become so close together that they will begin to collide with each other. Minutes before the big crunch, the temperature will be so great that atomic nuclei will disband and the particles will be sucked up by already coalescing black holes. Finally, all the black holes in the universe will merge into one singular black hole containing all the matter in the universe, which would then devour the universe, including itself. After this, it is possible that a new Big Bang would follow and create a new universe. One quadrillion years from now, the stellar landscape is dominated by white dwarfs and brown dwarfs. Much of the remaining mass of the universe is comprised of neutron stars and black holes of various sizes. Most other stars in the galaxies have long since collided explosively or gradually burnt out. Frozen corpses of planets scatter across the galaxies and the halos around galaxies and the deep night of intergalactic space. The stars of this era are more and more thoroughly fueled by dark matter, whose properties we don't know well enough now to describe. New life may still form inside cooling brown dwarfs and on the crusts of cold white dwarfs. It isn't likely that humans will exist by then what to speak of the Earth, the Sun, or even what remains of Andromeda and Milky Way. What do you think? We'd like to hear your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.